Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up and use the IC FGC 500 digital force gauge. First, a quick overview of the meter. On the top there is the measuring shaft, the extra large display, pressing the power button switches the unit on, and on the display you can see the current test mode icon, the battery status indicator, the force direction indicator, current measurement and test unit, the capacity indicator, the system time, and in this corner, the data transmission and data storage icon will appear when applicable. There's five buttons below the LCD. There's the power button, the zero up selector button, the storage and back key, the menu and enter key, and the test mode and down selector button. On the base of the unit, there's a USB port and the multifunction port. And the unit comes with several measuring heads. There's a notched, flat, conical and chisel head, an extension rod and a hook. To get started, select the most appropriate measuring head for your application. Mount it on the measuring adapter and tighten it by hand. At this stage, the device is essentially ready to take measurements. Pushing or pulling on the measuring head changes the measurement display as well as the force direction indicator. To adjust the measuring parameters, press the menu key to enter into the main menu. Then press the enter key to enter into the measurement submenu. Press enter again to select the unit. Under the unit submenu, you can choose between the unit of display between newtons, kilograms force, pound force or ounces of force. Use the up and down selector key to choose a unit, then press enter to confirm. The device will return to the measurement submenu. The next option on this submenu is a test mode selector. Use the down key until test mode is highlighted, then press enter to move into this submenu. There's three test modes to choose from. Track, this is the real time measuring mode. Peak, in peak mode the maximum measured force will remain on the display. Press zero to return the unit to zero and preset. In this mode, you can set the tolerance upper and lower limit of a measured force. Press the up and down keys to scroll through the options, and then press enter to select the highlighted value. The device will return to the measurement submenu. Press back to return to the main menu, and again to return to measurement mode. We can now perform measurements with the device set to our conditions. Measured values can be stored in the memory of the force gauge for later review or printing. To save a measurement, press the storage back key while in measurement mode. The small storage icon will display on the bottom left of the screen as the measurement is saved. Note, the data stored is what is currently displayed on the screen. So, in track and preset modes, it is the current measured force. In peak mode, the peak mode is saved. To review log data, press the menu key to enter into the main menu again. Use the up and down selector keys to highlight memory, then press enter. There are three options in the memory submenu. The first is browse, press enter to select. This will bring up a list of all your saved measurements with a number, the force and the force direction. Use the up and down selector keys to move through each of the logged measurements. Pressing menu on any of the highlighted measurement values brings up the option to delete or print each measurement. Use the up and down selector keys to highlight and select either option, then press enter to confirm. To return to the memory submenu, press back. The next option under browse is print. If you have a printer connected, press enter to move into the print submenu. The last option on the memory submenu is delete all. Press this to clear the recorded memory. Press back to return to the main menu. Using the arrow keys, scroll down. The next option on the main menu is system. Press enter to move into the system submenu. The first option in the system submenu is display. Press enter to move into the display setup options. There are two display modes. These are obverse and reverse. Selecting reverse turns the screen upside down for easy measurements when the meter is in an upside down position. For example, we'll take the measurement with the attached hook. To flip the screen back, go to menu, system, display, then select obverse. The screen can be rotated at any time depending on your requirements. The next option in the system submenu is auto power. When auto power is switched on, the meter will automatically switch off five minutes after the last button press to conserve battery life. If auto power is off, the device will remain on until manually switched off. Use the arrow keys to select between on or off, then press enter to confirm a new selection or back to make no changes. 
The next option under the system submenu is backlight. The backlight can be set to be switched on or off depending on your lighting conditions. The next option under the system submenu is key sound. This will make the unit beep with each key press. Choose to turn the key sound on or off. Next is date and time setup. Use the up arrow to adjust the highlighted value. Use the down key to move the highlighted value onto the next digit. Repeat the same to adjust the hour, minute, second, year, month, and the day. When all the values have been adjusted, press enter to confirm and return to the system submenu. Press the down key to move onto the next page of the system submenu. The last two options appear. The first is calibration. Calibration should only be performed if you have standard force weights or other standard sample loads available. The last option is default. Under the default menu, you can restore the force gauge back to the original factory settings. Press back to return to the main menu. The next option in the main menu is language. Press enter to view the options. If adjusting, use the arrow keys to select a language and enter to confirm and return back to the main menu. The last option on the main menu is info. Under info, you can find information about the force gauge, such as the model, version, and the serial number. Pressing the down key once again returns us to the top of the main menu. Press back to return to the measurement screen. The device is ready to take tension or compression force measurements using any of the included adapter heads. And that's how to set up and use the IC FGC 500 digital force gauge. For more information on this or other force gauges, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.